Thank you for joining us today for a look at the 2014-15 women's basketball season at Teal College. We're joined today by head coach Rob Clune. Rob, you have a majority of your roster back from last year. Um, what are your expectations going into the season? Well, Ed, it was a unique year last year. Um, we graduated uh, the year before 2,000 point scorers and Kelly Barzak and Kelly Muffley. And going into last year, um, we had a very young team. The majority of the players were either freshmen or sophomores. So they got plenty of experience last year, um, playing a very difficult schedule uh, throughout the year, both non-conference and conference. And then through it all, they, they competed well, got better throughout the year. And we're in a unique situation this year, Ed. We, we don't have any seniors on the team um, that will be playing a, a majority of the minutes. Uh, so we basically have the same team for the next two years with a lot of players, young players, new players coming in. So we expect a lot uh, growing pains at the beginning, but I think throughout the year um, we'll be able to compete better as January and February we get into the meat of the conference uh, um, schedule. Um, so it's exciting that uh, we'll, we're looking forward to it. Obviously, I already mentioned Jocelyn Watkins, who was a uh, honorable mention pick last year uh, in the PAC. Who um, are a couple of your other top returners? Well, Jocelyn, of course, uh, was a, a very effective low post scorer. I think with Hannah Stoneman, who's 6'1", the two of them make a great uh, post combination that we'll, we'll count on a lot for the scoring. Uh, Taylor Kettler is uh, someone that has improved tremendously, who's very versatile at, at 6'1", herself, can play in multiple positions. And then throughout the guard position, we have um, Kayla Welty, who played the last two years played majority of minutes playing average the, the most minutes in, most in the uh, PAC most in the PAC with 39 plus minutes a game and I think we're we're going to try to have her score a little bit more she's a great shooter um, I don't think it's uh, something she's accustomed to but because she does have that great shot we're, we're counting on her to be a little bit more aggressive with her shot Aaron DeFalco Lake and Shields and a um, couple others uh, Amy uh, um, Amy abdul Razul, who will be helping us out in the backcourt also. So um, we have a great nucleus of uh, players coming back, um, you know, that can, can really help us uh, compete better in the conference. And, and also with the added year of experience, I think they're going to really uh, provide uh, some real solid foundation to our program. Rob, you also have a couple of uh, key freshmen that you're pretty excited about. Uh, can you tell us who they are and what you expect from them? Yes, we, we were lucky. Uh, we got a couple commits from some very good players. Uh, number one, Taylor Dushan from Baldwin High School, just out of Pittsburgh. Um, a very versatile player, a 5'10 player who probably can play one through uh, five position, uh, the point guard to the post player. So she's someone, she's going to be a scorer. She's a very good shooter, very athletic, someone that I think we can really count on to really improve and, and maybe provide some uh, a really some scoring punch uh, for us. Um, we also have Bridget Journey um, out of uh, Villa Julia from uh, um, Villa St. Joe's, I think. Let me let me retake that. She's from uh, Villa St. Joe's in, uh, in Cleveland. Um, very quick guard. Some an area we really needed to address was our ball handling and our backcourt play. Um, along with uh, her uh, from Poland Seminary is uh, Karina Sherman. She's uh, a really good point guard who is also going to help us um, um, in the backcourt. Really, really solid player. And we have uh, Brittany uh, Sherman, who's uh, a very good player um, from uh, Villa St. Joe's also, uh, who didn't play last year due to injury, but very good shooter and I think can help us down the road. Coach, what are some of the keys this season for you, um, especially in PAC play? Well, the big thing is uh, our, our PAC conference is very good. Um, we, our uh, conference has the player of the year um, in the whole nation. And we have a team that uh, is ranked in the top five traditionally throughout the, the last five, six years. So it's very competitive. What we're looking forward um, is that we, we have a lot of new parts, new uh, players along with the players that have been here. Chemistry is going to be a big thing as we go forward. We need to really, each game, each practice, uh, get better, get to know each other, learn how to play with each other. And I think uh, we will be a work in progress from December all the way through the end of February. And 
I think it's just going to get better and better. Uh, I, I think they have a lot of unique uh, um, pieces on this team that I th will really blend nicely together once they learn how to play with each other. And it, it really is an exciting year because with the influx of uh, new talent, with the kids who have been here and the players been here really uh, have gained from the experience, I think it's exciting where we're going to be in February. Last but not least, do you have any messages you'd like to uh, convey to Tomcat fans? Oh, I think I think the brand of basketball you'll like by uh, our uh, our team. I think they're they're going to play very hard. It's a very competitive conference. Uh, you know, we can safely say the winner of our conference is, is going to compete for the national championship in some way. So, you you'll see some great teams come here. The the players are excited to get going. I I, I really do. It's exciting to go to the gym and uh, watch, watch one of our games because it's, it really will be a competitive, some very good players uh, um, that will be coming in, playing in, in our gym. So come out and support the, uh, the players. They work extremely hard, and I think you'll see a great brand of basketball. Thanks for joining us today, Rob. Thanks, Ed.